what's the secret behind Jamal Adams' chip on his shoulder? It's not what you think uh, as the Cowboys get ready to play Seattle uh, Sunday at Seattle. And I don't think it's even what Jamal Adams thinks. Mike Fisher reporting from Frisco, home of the Dallas Cowboys, where Jamal Adams announced this week that, oh, I heard from some sources uh, inside the building, some of my brothers, some of the guys that I text with, suggesting that it was players, who said they questioned my ability, my ability to cover or whatever. And now I've got a chip on my shoulder. I'm going to really show them. That's not what happened. There's no Cowboy player Dak Prescott or Amari Cooper or C.D. Lamb or anybody else, Zach Martin or anybody who texted the opponent, uh, one of the best players in the league, and said, we think you suck. We'll see you Sunday. That absolutely did not happen. Jamal Adams is pretending that happened, but I think I know what really occurred. Sean and RJ on 105.3 The Fan, uh, my buddies on the Cowboys flagship station. Uh, RJ Choppy has talked for a while Um Every time, in fact, I go on there and push for the idea that the Cowboys should have traded for Jamal Adams, Choppy's kind of just saying, well, you know, he can't do this and he can't do that, DFW native. I can't cover is one of Choppy's biggest pushes. Well, Choppy said that again next week. An avid listener to 105 Through the Fan happens to be named Michael Irvin. Uh, Michael Irvin is also a surrogate uncle to an NFL player who just happens to be Jamal Adams. Again, DFW native. Michael Irvin saw him play football when he was literally six years old. That, that's how long their relationship goes back. And my hunch is that Irvin heard Choppy say it on the air, then texted his nephew, Jamal Adams, and said, you should hear what they're saying about you. Not cowboy players texting Jamal Adams. That's ridiculous and suicidal, uh, considering the fact that Jamal Adams in the first two games has 21 tackles and two sacks already for a safety Cowboy players aren't that stupid. Uh, Michael Irvin is having some fun, and, and then later in the week came on 105.3 The Fan and told Choppy, uh, I guarantee that Jamal Adams' Seahawks are going to beat your Cowboys, our Cowboys, his Cowboys, and the blood will be on your hands, Choppy, because you're the one that put the chip on Jamal Adams' shoulder. This is a made-up story in the mind of Jamal Adams, which doesn't mean it can't be a story that manifests itself for real, on Sunday afternoon and inspired Jamal Adams, which he probably was already going to be uh, against a Cowboy offense that's going to have to try to score and score and score some more to keep with, with Russell Wilson and the Seahawks. Fish in Frisco, out.